it's an interesting battle happening in automotive. Why are all these new engines failing? Do you know we have over 5 million engines right now to recall? My friend Richard Truitt over at Auto News wrote the story today, talked to engineers and mechanics to get the root cause of what's happening with new engines and why they're failing. So we have a variety of brands having recalls. We have GM, Ford, Stellantis, Hyundai, Honda, Toyota. Yeah, even brands you think of being really reliable are having engine problems between connecting rods to bearings, issues with debris in the engine or sand in the casting block. They have all, all sorts of different issues going on in the engines. And why are these things failing right now? So his story looked at what happened with older engines versus new engines, talking to engineers and mechanics, and what the differences are. So today's engines are much tighter as far as the clearances between parts. They are much more efficient. They run a little bit hotter and they use a lighter weight oil to accomplish these means. That oil, can now fit between these parts that used to have a lot of clearance between them that have really microscopic clearance now. That's what happens inside the engine. So these engines have much better performance than they did before. They have much better fuel economy and they're much more fun to drive than they have been in years past. However, with that lighter weight oil, you have some things come up. So your manufacturing process has to be very, very precise. New oil can't handle the problems of the prior generation of engines. Other engines could be built a little bit off Things couldn't be as precise because you had the thicker oil between parts, had more clearances, and they had these items called swarfs. Little metal flakes from imperfections in manufacturing get in those engines. Oil would take and pick up those swarfs, take them through the oil filter, clean them out. Now it doesn't. Now this lightweight oil doesn't pick those swarfs up, doesn't get rid of them, and it creates debris inside the engine and can create some long-term problems. And so what's going on here is you have this battle between consumers who are buying vehicles like crazy. Trucks and HVs are selling like hotcakes. And they love the new power, new performance, the new driving aspect of these new vehicles. And then you have consumers who aren't buying them. And then you have critics who are saying, I don't want to buy a new vehicle. They're all junk. I don't like these lightweight oils. I think everything's reliability has gone down. I think quality has gone down because of the way they're building engines these days, the design. I don't like the tighter clearances. These things got to go. So I don't see automakers going backwards from where they are right now. But it's an interesting battle happening in automotive.